devoted chosen. Such misplaced zeal, their eyes remain closed to the true path. Not like you. Hey, what's up my mom mustaches and welcome back to another wild video. Today's video is going to be covering a theory that I came up with and also to as well was discussing with a Twitter user. Also too, we're going to actually go over Shadowlands and if you don't want to see a video like this, it's something that you're not here on my channel. This is something out of ordinary I'm going to put out. So it's going to be like in between my gold videos. So it's not going to be every day. So if you want to check this out and you want to see some spoilers, guys, stay tuned. But if not, guys, I'll see you in the next gold video. And as always, stay stashy. But let's get into the video. Before we get into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button to get notified when I release my new content and all the juicy gold guides. All right, guys, if you're still with us, thank you so much for joining us today. This is going to be something different than what I do on my channel. I usually do gold and I'm going to still be doing gold all the time. But this is something I want to throw in every week just to, you know, see how y'all think about it and see if I should just keep going. Now, the big theory I want to talk about is going to be the Jeller and Arthas. They have more in common than you think, not just the Helms, not just the Gems and so forth. They actually have a missing heart. This is something we did not know of until recently. My theory is one and all. They both are connected. We're not going to go over too much, but we're actually going to be talking about why I feel like they're connected. Let's actually start off with Arthas. Now, let's actually go over how he lost his heart, the Pulsing Crystal. This Pulsing Crystal can be found in the Forgotten Depths in Ice Crown. It is, in fact, Arthas' frozen heart. After the fight against Ilden, Arthas cut his own heart out, discarded it in the Forgotten Depths, because he believed it was a weakness to him as it was still human. After recovering the heart from the Depths, the Scourge brought it to the Cathedral of Darkness in the Ice Crown, where they were performing a ceremony until Tyrion and his companions infiltrated the cathedral. After the Lich King himself arrived and exposed Tyrion and others, he beckoned the Paladin to gaze into the heart. Tyrion looked into the heart and decided that there was no possibility to redeem Arthas, then proceeded to destroy it with the Ashbringer. Now for the Jeller. As you can see, the Jeller is right here. He has a hole in his chest and missing his heart. His role was always to guard dangerous souls in the Eternal Prison. Yet now, some of the greatest Azeroth heroes are trapped here who do not deserve to be here. Other than that, we don't know too much about him, but I want to say what are the similarities between him and Arthas. First, obviously, is the crown. Second is going to be the heart, which I just told you about. Those are actually big time things that I think we need to look at. Maybe seeing that Arthas' body is not dead, when I mean dead, it's actually not fully destroyed, and seeing that the Jeller can actually only die if you kill him in the Shadowlands, what if the only way to kill the Jeller would be to utterly destroy Arthas' soul and obviously his body? Because it's confirmed that we will meet Arthas in Shadowlands. So, if this is a turn of events, this could be a 360 on a lot of people and something that we never saw coming. Which to me, at least, is going to be very exciting because I love twists and turns. But with that said, guys, I got one more theory for y'all, then we're off to Shadowlands. So my last theory is going to be based off the last patch, patch 8.3. And it's actually going to be what happened to the old god. A lot of us think that we actually destroyed him in the raid. I don't think so. I think that we actually just defeated him or it's just a hallucination. I think that we look at we won, but in reality, what happened to the dagger? Yes, it got destroyed, or it looked like it got destroyed, but it just disappeared, fragments and all. What if the old god put his essence inside the blade, seeing the blade's not here no more, and it disappeared to someone, or it's somewhere, and someone has it, and has a way into the Shadowlands? Now, I do want to say right now, that there was something that Ion said at the beginning of BlizzCon for the next expansion. He said that there was a world engine, that this world engine could destroy anything. What if the old god's plan was always to get to Shadowlands to use the world engine to destroy the gate or a barrier or just some kind of seal to release the other old gods? Remember, old gods have to go somewhere when they're actually destroyed. Even the last old god we fought was not destroyed. It even says in the dungeon journal, I think on Mythic, it says that we just defeat him because you can't utterly destroy him. It's just harder for him to return. But this is something that we think happens like I said, it could be all just a hallucination or just part of his plan. Also too as well, there's a lot of leaks that came out that were seemed to be right, but we're not going to go into those at the moment. 
So I do hope you enjoy that. Let me know in the comments below if I should start doing this every now and then. I would love to. It's very fun to do, especially when you find out something or if you put two to two together and it actually makes sense. So let's get into the Shadowland part. Alright guys, so we're going to start off in Bastion and we're going to be covering herbs. There is three herbs you can actually get here in this zone. It's going to be Nightshade, Rising Glory, and Death Blossom. These three can be found through the whole region and I went everywhere to make sure. Now, the spawn rate is not up right now and it won't be up for a while, but these are the three that actually spawn here with me just looking. Now, if you have any questions about these or what they're going to be doing, let me know in the comments below. I will look into it as soon as we get professions up. But right now, I just want to let y'all guys know that these are the three they're going to be farming in this zone. Now, in Rivendreth, it's going to be two of them. One of them is going to be Death Blossom, and the other one is going to be Widow Bloom. These are the only two that I went across and found. Other than that, I couldn't find any other ones. Maybe I missed one. Let me know in the comments below if you're an alpha and you've seen another one. But it should be three. I really hope it's going to be three for a zone. But according to this, there's only one more. So with that said, there's not too much I can talk about it. We are limited to the point of what we can do with these. There is nothing up that I can actually discuss about it. But I want to say right now that you really want to have your ground clutter off especially in bastion because if you don't you're actually gonna not see the herbs and you're gonna run over them because they blend right in with that said let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video guys if you stayed until the end thank you so much to all my patreons and if you join my content please hit that like button hit the subscribe button and comment and like always stay session